And what I wanted to show you again was this winner. Um, it's, you know, the best ad I've probably ever run for a $5 test, you know, 0 0.003. And that's really going to be something that we can do the upfront scaling on. So what we want to look at is who was reacting to this. So what you can do is do a breakdown, and this is just for female only in this instance. So let's go ahead and hit age. You could also hit age and gender if that was something you were worried about. And you can see here that almost everybody was the real winner here, right? We had all age demographics, 18 to 24, 25 to 34, and so on and so forth, responded very, very well to this. But the majority of the traffic was hit on this guy, right? The 25 to 34 uh, hit the most results as far as engagement with the, each one of these guys um, being around that mark, about half that mark. But every age demographic had a very, very low cost per engagement. So I know I can run because it's below the one cent mark. I know I can run a, a page post engagement here, 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 here. And also here, if I wanted to, there's not a lot of people in this niche um, in that age demographic, but you can see that it did very well. So that's the that's instantly going to give me a five dollar ad into a five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty dollars worth of spend. And each one of these is going to have a link to buy. So then that's another way that we can push traffic or push our offer to a larger group of people faster because there's going to be more eyeballs on this because each one is going to get a special amount of traffic because we they have their individual ads. I want to beat that into your head um, over and over again that that's what we're doing here. So let's go into what we would do next, right? So uh, we had picked our interest before, right? And just to reiterate that, it was the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation, right? And that is uh, what we're going to do. We used it for our $5 test. Now we're going to do it for a ad with a link in it. By the way, if you had done a boost post to your page, now you want to do the same process and boost a PPE ad to your page with a buy link. So now we're going to go over into creating our boosted post or, you know, boost your post to an outside source, not just to your fan page. They also do call this a boosted post. It is a page post engagement uh, ad. And I'm going to create, I had not created a post yet, so I'm going to go ahead and create a post. Attach my photo. Same photo as before. Now I'm going to say, are you a firefighter? Then this is for you. Buy yours here. You know, link. Also, since it is a page post engagement ad, I tend to not ask for any kind of engagement here because there's going to be a like, a comment, and a share call to action already on the ad when I post it, right? Because that's always part of those posts. But there is no tag. Tag is something that it gets another set of eyeballs to it if people do it. So if I'm ever going to have a second call to action other than what we have here, the buy yours here or buy it now, telling them to buy is the number one objective. My number two objective would be tag your friends below who you think would wear this. Whoops. Okay, so tag is this objective that doesn't exist on the post as is, but it's gonna help you get another set of eyeballs to it. Uh, another thing that you can do if you want, if you have the Photoshop skills, is instead of having it here, put it on the lower part of this page here, because if you think about how it scrolls through your feed, you know, if somebody's on their phone and they see your picture and they're scrolling past your buy, you can still have that secondary call to action that's underneath. And that'll help you possibly um, get a tag or another action there 
which will reduce your cost, right? Because it's an action that they'll take, an engagement that they'll take, but also get that extra set of eyeballs, maybe somebody that comes back and buys. So uh, I like to do um, a, I don't like to do dark posts, uh, especially with page post engagement, because we want that virality there. Um, page po uh, dark posts are harder for that to happen. So we'll go ahead and publish now. And I actually published that to my page. That's how committed I am for you guys. So we'll go ahead and um, come down here and refine what we want, right? So our demographic data, going back to this, was 18 to 24, um, 25 to 34 on all these guys were well responded, right? So let's go back here. Now, it depends on what you want to do. And, and I'm willing to risk more money for a product like this, right? Based off that data. So what I would do is create an 18 to 24, you know, women in this, in, in that, in the instance of this data, it's women, right? But in, uh, since we're doing firefighters, we'll say it was men, uh, 18 to 24 year old men. And then I could do a 25 to 34 and repeat this process. If you're going to do a wide open, you know, if you want to spend less and really, you know, test out your product, that's perfectly fine. Everybody's got a different amount of money they're willing to risk. So let's do 18 to 64 uh, and then refine the rest of it. So we got the national fire, fallen firefighter. Okay. So you got 320,000 people. Perfect. Everybody in the United States. Now here's your budget. I like to do about five to ten dollars, right? Again, this was a if if we were using this data, it's a different product. But if we were using this data, I would aggressively do five dollars on each one of those age segments. If I was timid about the product, but I still wanted to test it out and I wanted to do a wide open ad, I would do ten dollars. Page post engagements ad, ads are pretty good at refining and we're not going crazy with it. We're just going to get the ball rolling to get sales. This is initial entering our product into the market with a buy link and making sure that we are getting our product out there. So $10, we don't want to slow roll this, right? We want to get the product out there and aggressively go. $10, we'll get some data, it will refine, it will optimize, then we can hit the reports just as we did over here looking at it looking at the performance and the breakdown of a page post engagement ad um, if you wanted to bring in say customize co your columns bring in the checkouts you hit that and say conversion pixel apply that later on that'll have conversion pixels here but now we're going to get this out here we're going to start making sales so this is what we want to do. We want to show our advanced options. You can hit a URL tag here. Um, if you're familiar with Teespring, you if you have a way of tracking this, um, this is a perfect opportunity for you to hit a URL tag and say like PPE. And then we're going to remove the right column and leave mobile and desktop and then place the order. Okay, and that will get us going. So if we want to repeat this process for the winners, same thing. Let's get the ad up. Let's keep going. Let's keep pushing. More traffic, more eyeballs to our offer because it's making sales. You know, people want this item. They want to know where to buy it and we're delivering that to them. And then we're going to get some virality out of it as well. Then we'll have to eventually get more interest to target. Remember, one interest by one interest. So we'll go through here and kind of look for those community style pages. Now, if you don't have any that you find, right? I thought this volunteer firefighters was one, it ended up being a business. Um, but what you can do is get to your graph search and type in communities named X, right? So this is communities named firefighters. So what this is gonna do is show me all the interests that are you know, related to firefighters. So I'll find a couple of them. Here's one, firefighters, 186, you know, right here. Um, we got an 18,000 one. 
and so on and so forth, right? You're going to go ahead and there might be some ones in here fire and here's another 10,000. There might not be some more in here, but it gives you another option and you can get creative to it with it too, right? So your community is named fire, um, community's name X, right? Firefighters with a space in the middle. You never know. So just get creative with it, search around for it and use those interests if they are communities to get some extra eyeballs onto them, right? And it's and then you can actually cross it in and see if you can find those items here uh, to make sure that they have a solid affinity. But, you know, judging by these, these are gonna be a lot of marketer fan pages. So which means they're built up by people like me who were targeting enough and well enough to grow that page to 10,000 people and so on and so forth. So just something for you to keep in mind um, and is another option for you to find more interests. So that is it for this video. What we want you to do is repeat the process with PPE and just get some eyeballs onto our, our initial phase and get us ready for the growth phase. And we'll see you in the next video.